Hi, everybody. Welcome to this week's version of the Hollywood Harry Sports Show. Yes, we are at Rich Stadium, New Era Field. What do they call it, Chuck? Uh, With my sidekick, Chuck Eckert. Uh, hey, uh, <laughs> uh, Harry, we got to... I was going to forget you. Yeah, <laughs> hey. Um, what a game today. It's the Indianapolis Colts, the second worst team to the Cleveland Browns. Whoa! And it's a must-win game on top of it. So it's do or die for the Bills this week. We're in or we're out. We live to fight another week or we go home and worry about the draft. But, by the way, it is as cold as the, you know what I'm about to say. It Can't is, say that on TV, Harry. It is freezing here today. Oh, here's what we've got. We've got maybe eight inches of snow on the ground. We've got a quarterback who's been sacked more times than any other quarterback, the Indianapolis Colts quarterback. What do you say about that? Well, Colby Brissett has had a rough go. They've lost some close games, but they haven't been able to do anything on either side of the ball. They haven't been able to stop anybody. They haven't been able to move the ball. T.Y. Hilton's still okay. Um, Frank Gore's a Hall of Famer. But, you know, these guys aren't having a great year, and I don't know if it, their offensive line is totally banged up. So they're 3-9. and nine. Pagano's going to get fired, but they're, they're not going to just tank. They're not going to come out and play dead. Andrew Luck. Andrew, I have no luck. Is he's that gonna, the guy? He's going to be on the market. I'll take him. Are yeah. you kidding me? I mean, Tyrod's not the guy. We already know that. We've had three-year experiment with Tyrod. So far, we don't know that Peterman's any better than what we saw. He's going to get a shot today, we think. Oh, he's going to start today, Harry. Okay. They, they announced it, yeah. They did announce it. They and, were on the fence. Yeah, but, and, and uh, Webb's going to be our backup. Peterman's going to get his chance to show that he's, uh, you know, the next coming of, of Jim Kelly. And I don't think so. People want to doubt me. I don't see it. I haven't seen it. Please prove me wrong, Peterman. I think Peterman's going to have a good game today. You do. I do, and here's the reason. He can't have a worse game than he ever had before. Well, no, and, you know, he came in last week and against New England. He had to help his confidence a little. He didn't throw an interception. So yeah. that had to help him a little bit, but he's going to play the whole game, it looks like, and we're going to find out what he's made of, you know? 30-mile-an-hour wins here at Rich Stadium. I yeah, mean, I the know. Ralph, I mean, New Era, whatever you want to call it this week. <laughs> Yeah, it's freezing, okay? Yeah, it's so it's cold. going to be a factor. they got to run the ball, okay? Let's face it, both teams got to try and run the ball. And if they can't, well, it's, it's going to come down to who can run the ball best, you know? I think Shady, Darn, is that cold! I think Shady's got to get 170, 191 yards and he gets 1,000. Is that what like it that. is? What so is it, guys? Close. 191, 174 what? for Tyrod to get that 1,000? For Shady. Yeah, Shady, Shady, yeah. 195. 195. Yeah, 195. All right, well, that's, that's know, an accomplishment, okay? <laughs> well, yeah, Tyrod, Tyrod. I think Tyrod stays are numbered. By the way, I want to throw in this. Greg the Roofer is coming to Buffalo. So call. The number's on the screen at all times, and he'll give you an estimate. He'll be here this spring. He's already conquered Rochester, so he's coming to Buffalo. Greg is a uh, honest, uh, good roofer, integrity. His reputation speaks for itself. And Rochester, you'll find out. So he is coming to Buffalo. Just wanted to throw that in. Chuck. Yeah, we've got some offensive problems. Our line is really not that good. We have a good center, but we really need to be able to Miller's protect. not good. He's not playing today. No, yeah. Dawkins is get, they're giving him the job because Cordy Glenn's been hurt. Yeah. He's sort of on the fence. He plays good and he plays bad. But if Cordy Glenn's healthy, he's one of the best. But I think they're done with Cordy Glenn, to be honest with you. I do, too. I think he's, uh, he's out. I think we need a great tight end. We need a well. Charles Clay is that great tight end. I believe he is. If they throw him the ball, he's in. He's I, out. You know, I come to the conclusion today, coming down here, that they've had a lot of good receivers over the years, and they haven't had the guys throwing it to them. We traded away a playoff caliber receiving core. Yeah, we okay, did. we did, and, and, they're, and they're all starting for New England. Well, <laughs> California, yeah. Los yeah. Angeles. Yeah. You know, yeah. they're all doing well. If they were here and we had a better quarterback. I really think we'd have been a playoff team with those guys. And I don't think getting rid of Darius was the greatest thing in the world either. Where Shaq is hurt, Darius is gone, Kyle Williams is old as dirt, uh, Jerry Hughes can't stop arguing with everybody. I, you know, they got a lot of holes to fill in the future for Mr. It's part of the process. I think Kyle Williams is out. I today? Think, I th no, not today. I think this is going to be his last few games. I do too. Why would you want to come back? He's giving it a good run, you know? He's got a lot of money. Yeah. He's played great for Buffalo. He's been, how old is he now, 34? He's a warrior. Yeah. He's yeah. been, a, just like us people coming to these games, warriors, yeah. hardcore, psycho. <laughs> well, just because there's some snow on the ground and it's 30-mile-an-hour wind. And no they big say, deal. And they say by the end of the game today, it's going to probably be a 
not a blizzard, but it's going to be a mess. Well, we're going to get a blizzard and pneumonia. So okay. we got that going for us. Getting back to the field, the offense playing in this kind of weather when it's so cold, and they say in the second and third quarter it's going to really pick up the wind and the snow. What will that mean to the Buffalo team? Well, it'll be they better run the ball. <laughs> Peterman played in Pittsburgh, right? Yeah, he so played he knows, in Pittsburgh. He knows yeah, what the weather's rough, about. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Peterman did beat Clemson once upon a time. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's give him a little bit of kudos. There was another famous player from Clemson. But moving on to the next. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we know. <laughs> moving on to the next part. Yeah, awesome. um, <laughs> what's going to happen with the offense with Indianapolis? They're really not that good. The quarterback has been sacked. Frank Gore. They're going to go to Frank Gore and T.Y. Yeah. Hilton, okay? Those are the two main guys. The quarterback so, has been sacked more than any other quarterback in the NFL this year. That's why year. they're three and nine. Yeah, I know, right? Three and nine. What can you say? Two, two bad teams right here, all right? And one and the Bills are still alive. This is it. There is no next week we're going to the playoffs. It's win now or we're out. So this is our season. And it's on a lousy day against a lousy team. Be a terrible way to end it, you know? But ending it now, Harry, because we have our segment, we oh, have we, our time. Do we have enough time, Chuck? Yeah. Where, where would you like to go I with the ending? I have to go ahead from Chuck before I say we'll be right back. <laughs> All right, listen, yeah. we're going to be right back, right? We're going to be we're right gonna back. We're going to come back, talk to the fans. Stay right there. Roof, roof. Everyone knows Greg the roofer by now, but you don't know Greg works all winter long, siding windows or roofs. Greg has financing for everyone. So call 585-727-0702 for a free estimate, but don't ask for roofer. Jack Greco's Furniture is announcing their largest sale ever. Oak, cherry, maple, hickory, and quarter sawn oak. Dining room sets, bedroom sets, home office, flat screen TV stands, and all season outdoor poly furniture. Now through Sunday, Jack Greco's for the finest in hardwood furniture. If you like comfort food, you must try McGee's Country Diner. Located off exit 41 on the New York State Thruway next to the Del Lago Casino. McGee serves breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Friday, it's the fish fry. Saturday, prime rib. Use your casino points from Del Lago for your meal. McGee's has a dish for everyone. You must try the pig wings. So for some real home cooking, come to McGee's Country Diner for some real comfort food. Here at Sleep Cheap, we have thousands of satisfied customers. Here's just a few. I found this queen mattress at Sleep Cheap for only $3.99. Everywhere else in town, they wanted $1,000. I shopped all over town for a king mattress, and I found the best value at Sleep Cheap. I bought a great mattress for myself at Sleep Cheap, and while I was there, I bought a twin for my grandson for only $69. With two locations to serve you, it's cheap, 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 cheap. Welcome back. We're going to talk to the fans. Brought to you by Jack Greco, Custom Furniture in Scottsville Road and in Inlet, New York. I've told you before, Jack will give you 10% off on anything you show up. Free delivery out of town, Canada, anywhere you see this, the show. Jack's a great guy and he's got the best furniture money can buy. That being said, let's talk to some of the fans now. Uh, okay, come on in. How name, rank, and serial number. All right, my name's Nick and I'm from Lockport, New York. Okay, Nick, what's going to happen today? Oh, you know what? I, I got to say, Tyrod's not starting, but it's all right. In Peterman, we trust. Five picks against the Chargers, I'm not worried about it. We're, we're good to go against the Colts today. Think we're going to do okay? Oh, I think we're going to do great. Okay, thanks, Nick. All right, thank get out. you. All right, okay. next, come on, here we go. Come on. Peterman, Peterman, Peterman. Okay, name, rank, and serial number. I'm Aaron. I'm from Cincinnati. Cincinnati? Cincinnati? Cincinnati. Yeah. What are you doing here? Those guys cheat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They don't like Pittsburgh. Are, are you no, a Bengals no. fan or what? Uh, uh, somewhat. Somewhat? Somewhat. Do you go to games there? No, not usually. Not usually? No. So you have to come up here to go? Absolutely. Okay, so what do you think is going to happen today? I think we're all going to freeze up in the 300s. Yeah, <laughs> you in the 300s? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're you were a freeze. shoveler yesterday, were you? <laughs> no, <simply>. no. <laughs> yes, you are going to freeze, okay, but yeah. what else is going to happen? I think the Bills are definitely going to win. You think they're, they're going to win? Absolutely. You're not nervous that Peterman's playing? Nope. Okay. Nice. So thanks for the positive. Now get out. Hey, thanks. Okay. <laughs> all right, come on in. Here we go. We're going to do all three of them. Well, oh, one no, at a time. Hold on. Get to all three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can't do it that way. Okay. Name, rank, and serial number. My name's Dave from Lockport, New York. Okay, Dave, uh, you're up in the 300 with the rest of these people? No, actually, I'm in the 200s. Oh, you're in the 200s. I'm okay. in the warm seats. Uh, <laughs> what, what's going to happen today? Uh, I think we'll fare okay. Hopefully, it'll be a ground game and, you know, we won't be throwing the ball too much. You uh, afraid with Peterman playing? 
A little bit. A little bit? Yeah, he's got such a big arm, the guys don't even catch, it, catch would, the ball. Would so. you rather head tie rod in there? I don't know. Yeah, tie rod's better for our offensive line, I think. So you think we're going to play, we're going to win, and we're going to go on, to, we're going to live another day. We're going to live another we're day. We're going to fight another day. Yep. Thank yep. you. All right. Get out. <laughs> All right, come on in. Name, rank, and serial number. I'm Kayla. I'm from Lockport, New York as well. Okay, Kayla, and uh, what's going to happen today? Uh, if I'm standing out here in the cold, the Bills had better win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you, do you come to a lot of games? Uh, probably about once a year. And for whatever reason, we always pick the December games. I think my family's crazy. Yeah, they are. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> they did not drop you when you were a child. No. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know. That's debatable. <laughs> so who's your favorite player on the Bills? I Nathan don't have a Peterman. Oh, I, I like Shady McCoy though. All yeah. right, he's yeah. all right. He's a good one to like. He's got to get a lot of yards running today, or else we may not win okay. because it's going to be a ground game today. It will be. Yeah. Now you like the Bills. I do like get the out. Bills. Okay. Right. <laughs> Come on in. Who's They're next? All righty, who's next? Come on over. Here we go. What's your name and where are you from? Name, rank, and serial number. Barry Decker from the Boston Hills. Boston got what, 20 some inches? We got 22 inches of snow and I'm proud of it. <laughs> and they're getting a blizzard today maybe. Well, I, I, we're gonna get a few more inches of snow, but when you got, to, when you got two foot, you know, amongst friends, who cares? <laughs> yeah. Snow doesn't bother you. Well, you know, I'm a season ticket holder, been coming for over 20 years now, and remember the glory years. And weather oh, the today old days. is great. Oh. I mean, we've been to games in, against the Jets and against the, the Chiefs when it was negative, holy, it was cold outside, and this is nothing. We're going to enjoy today's game a lot. The and glory days. Can we sing Kumbaya? Yeah, oh, yeah. Kumbaya. Yeah, we, we okay. could if I knew the words, so but I won't. So what, what's your favorite player today, and what should he do? Well, Eddie Arrow. New guy Eddie, on the our team. Man, yeah. Eddie. Hey, we, like we like Eddie. Eddie. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shaq Lawson, whoever he was, <laughs> um, he's gone now. God. And Eddie Arbo's taking his spot. Yeah. And I think, you know, that guy, he's going to end up with a few sacks and he's going to put some life into this team and this defense. And we you're going to see some great things today. We said earlier on the show that uh, the number one team that's been sacked the most is the Colts. Yeah. So Eddie Yarborough might be able to get two, maybe three. What's your prediction of sacks? Well, I think total sacks today, if we don't end up with six sacks, at least I'll be disappointed today because I really think it's time for this defense to break out and put some good things out there for us uh, die You like the Bills fans. today? Just by a little bit. Oh, like no, no, this is going to be a blowout. Right, this blowout? game is going to be done okay. uh, by the beginning of the so fourth far, quarter. We'll be going so home far, and enjoying a beer. So far, everybody's picking the Bills. It's going to be the Bills, the Bills, the Bills. Let's hope this is the way yeah. when we come out of this, okay? Who do we Thanks, have next? Terry. Hey, All come right. on over. Who's next? Come on over. We're not waiting for you. We're at We're frozen. TV I here. Ernie. I speak Canadian. All right, go ahead, Ernie. <laughs> no, I'm Rob. All this right, is Ernie. Rob. Ernie. Ernie's, I'm his Canadian-American interpreter. Oh, okay. All right. That's, what's up? <laughs> what do we got going on? What do we got going on? Well, we're at the game. We're frozen. Uh, what do you want from me? What's uh, happening today? My name's Rob from Rochester, New York, Webster specifically. Um, what do we got? And we got Ernie. Uh, Ernie from uh, Mount Forest, Ontario, north of Guelph. Oh, really? All right, a Canuck? Absolutely. All right. This Rob. is Indian summer. We let you. you people are <laughs> <laughs> we let you in, too. Yeah. All right. What's going to happen today, gentlemen? I, How do you see it? I got a win today. Oh, okay. I guess winning him. Yeah, okay. I got, a, I got a much needed win. I, I, more importantly, I, we had put some stat numbers. If Pat Peterman can throw 15 completions, 200 yards, a touchdown, and no interceptions, I think it's a. I think it's not only a great win, but a, a great uh, step forward for, for that young young guy as well. I agree. Great, great opportunity. The uh, Colts uh, secondary is very weak. Very. He can exploit them. They've lost their outside linebacker. I think Shady can have a good game, you know, running to the outside. It'll be a big day for the Bills, so we'll, we'll win. And All lastly, right. uh, McCoy needs 30 touches today without question. 30 touches, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, at least. Okay, two, gentlemen. 200 yards. Are, go you, back to, are you two brothers or twins or what? No, he's my long-lost son. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, okay. go back to Canada. He's my Canadian dad. <laughs> All right, thanks. <laughs> hey, what's Roofer going to do? What's he going to pick today? Roofer, that's later. We're going to do oh, that later, do okay? That <laughs> yeah, later. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. You're rushing it, Chuck. All right. Okay, folks, stay right there. We'll be right back. Roof Roof! Everyone knows Greg the Roofer by now, but you don't know Greg works all winter long. Siding, windows, or roofs, Greg has financing for everyone. So call 585-727-0702 for a free estimate, but don't ask for Roofer! Jack Greco's Furniture is announcing their largest sale ever. Oak, cherry, maple, hickory, and quarter sawn oak. Dining room sets, bedroom sets, home office, flat screen TV stands, and all season outdoor poly furniture. If you like comfort food, you must try McGee's Country Diner. Located off exit 41 on the New York State Thruway next to the Del Lago Casino. 
Use your casino points from Del Lago for your meal. Come to McGee's Country Diner for some real comfort food. Be smart and go to sleep cheap for their back to school sale. How about a twin for $89? Bow 129, Queen 139, King 179. And get free delivery with a student ID. Here's a Queen pillow top set for only $299. With two locations to serve you, it's cheap, 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 cheap. Channel1media.com, home of the media transfer. Old home movies, photos, slides, and videotapes to DVD. Partners Chuck Eckert and Mary Money can transfer all your memories. With over 30 years experience, Call us at 716-759-1111. Let us transfer your family films, photographs, slides, and videotapes, and share with your family and friends. Channel1media.com, 716-759-1111. We are at Rocco 165 Monroe Avenue here in Rochester, New York. I'm with head chef and owner Mark Cupolo. How you doing, Mark? I'm doing great, Harry. Good to see you. Mark, you're going to whip up a couple of dishes here. Tell us what they are. Well, we're going to do two of our dishes that we do here at the restaurant. Uh, one is a uh, pasta uh, puttanesca in cartoccio, which means baked in a parchment bag. The other dish is going to be a pizza that we do with ham and eggs. Oh, ham and uh, egg pizza. Ham okay. and egg pizza. Yep. Okay, okay so uh, very quickly, uh, the pasta puttanesca. I have par-cooked uh, linguine here. Uh, you should use a long pasta. Bucatini, linguine uh, are best. A little bit of basic tomato sauce. A little bit of finely chopped black olive. Uh, capers. A little bit of anchovy, uh, finely chopped. Uh, some crushed red pepper. Good amount spicy dish uh, and some fresh parsley. Uh, I'm going to put a little bit of uh, what we made here is a garlic oil, just garlic infused oil. Just mix that all together. Okay, so now we're just going to uh, put this pasta in the middle of the bag and we're just going to start to fold it from the edge, making a, a, a seal as you go. We're going to do a quick pizza, ham and eggs. So I've got the ricotta on the pizza, a little black pepper, a little bit of olive oil. Now this pizza, the only trick to this one is, is that you're going to bake it halfway and then you're going to add your ham and eggs and finish it. You want a soft cooked egg, like a sunny side up egg, nice and runny, uh, when the pizza comes out. Here's the finished product on the puttanesca. Then you're just going to take a little scissors or a steak knife. Peel it open. Great method of cooking. You've sealed all the flavors inside. Beautiful pasta puttanesca. Once you open it, you can put a little oh, parsley. You, you, you pro chefs got a little cheese. Give it uh, glamour. Okay, it. how about the pizza now? And there's your pizza. Nice, uh, all your white is cooked. Your yolks are uh, very soft and runny, which is what you want. Your okay, ham. there you have it from Rocco on Monroe Avenue and Chef Mark Cooper. Okay, about 30 years ago, I interviewed George Foreman. You're gonna see George Foreman with Aaron Pryor. Now, Archie Moore was on that show with us. I somehow have lost the work tape or the, the show because they're 30 years old with Archie Moore. But here's me with George Foreman and what a great guy he was. Of all time, so uh, you know you can hit still. Right, that's something nobody can take away from me. I don't know if I can get a glove on you. I can put you out. Mm -hmm. Now, <laughs> <laughs> how many want to see that? <laughs> George, don't make me use my left, okay? I've been saving this thing, all right? So I'll, I'll settle down from time to time, and I hear skeptics and a lot of critics, but w the one thing they cannot take from me, and that's my punch, it belongs to me. Now, you're 14-0 uh, and 0 on the comeback trail. I think that says something for itself. You've, uh, you know, There's one or people, two or three. A lot of people said that I, I'm fighting guys on respirators. But that's <laughs> a lie. I wait. I give them 10 days and off the respirator. You want a, <laughs> you want a shot at Tyson. Right. Can you beat him? I think if I'm given the opportunity, I can knock him out. Well, he's, li he's literally living on a the respirator these days. Give or take his marital, oh, 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 <laughs> give or take his marital situations, you know, who knows what his frame of mind might be in, you know? Yeah, but uh, he's a great kid. He's having a lot of fun. And yeah. All kids should have a lot of fun. And uh, he's going through life. He's going to have his ups and downs. But I think he's going to make a better man out of him. Yeah, he's a young kid, and I, I hope the best for him, too. He's enjoying himself. Now, George, did you come into the ministry uh, after your first career of boxing? Or tell us when you came to the ministry. Well, I, I fought Jimmy Young back in 1977. And as the old saying goes, he whipped the devil out of me. <laughs>
Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know if that's funny. Okay. <laughs> Think about it. I've been, yeah. I've been been <laughs> Think about it. He whipped the devil out of me. Uh, yeah. Capital D. I went on to be yeah. a preacher. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I got gotcha. you. Okay. <laughs> I've been but whipped. Uh, and uh, so I've traveled around the country as an evangelist, and I, I still do it full time. I'm a full time preacher. I'm actually moonlighting as a boxer. George, I saw you at a press conference today, and uh, you happened to tell us you said something I thought was a lot of meaning. You were talking about young people. What was your message to them? Well, my message to young people is to make sure they get to be old. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Amen. Hey. You know, the greatest thing that can happen to a kid is not to win a gold medal. I've won a gold medal, and not to be heavyweight title. I've had I've had the belt. The greatest privilege I've had is to live a long time, and you'll see a lot alone. So you got to put away not only a little money to make sure you have something to 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 rely on later on your later years, but you got to put away some good health too. And right. you got to start taking care of yourself when you're young. I stopped smoking. I stopped drinking when I was a baby. I've had a horrible time. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, all work and no play makes George a dull guy. You know? Okay, are we going to take some questions from the audience on the fan stand? I believe we are. Hey, After George. we take a break, we'll be right back here on Sports Talk. Yeah, yeah. Roof, roof. Everyone knows Greg the roofer by now, but you don't know Greg works all winter long, siding windows or roofs. Greg has financing for everyone. So call 585-727-0702 for a free estimate, but don't ask for roofer. If you like comfort food, you must try McGee's Country Diner. Located off exit 41 on the New York State Thruway next to the Del Lago Casino. McGee's serves breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Friday, it's the fish fry. Saturday, prime rib. Use your casino points from Del Lago for your meal. McGee's has a dish for everyone. You must try the pig wings. So for some real home cooking, Come to McGee's Country Diner for some real comfort food. Here at Sleep Cheap, we have thousands of satisfied customers. Here's just a few. I found this queen mattress at Sleep Cheap for only $3.99. Everywhere else in town, they wanted $1,000. I shopped all over town for a king mattress, and I found the best value at Sleep Cheap. I bought a great mattress for myself at Sleep Cheap, and while I was there, I bought a twin for my grandson for only $69. With two locations to serve you, it's cheap, 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 cheap. Roof, roof. Everyone knows Greg the roofer by now, but you don't know Greg works all winter long. Siding windows or roofs, Greg has financing for everyone. So call 585-727-0702 for a free estimate, but don't ask for roofer. With George Foreman and Aaron Pryor. Yeah. I feel like I'm about I'm announcing in the ring when I say yeah. that all the time. Okay, it's time to go to the fan stand with our host Buffalo Biff and get a couple questions from the fans. Biff, how you doing? Pretty good, Harry. How are you doing tonight? Well, I'm having a great time. Got a host of some of the most famous people I've ever uh, seen with you. Uh, did you just get off the beach or what? Yeah, it was uh, rough today. The sun was out, so. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, okay, right. I've got uh, Kent from Rochester has a question for you guys. Go ahead, Kent. Okay, I guess it should be directed to George. Um, considering your age, I mean, you really look good. Um, You're only saying that because it's true. Yeah, <laughs> it is true. It is true. You I, better say I that. I have to say that I'm... <laughs> close to him, too, I think. It's One guy said the opposite, and he, he'll never say that again. I'm sure. <laughs> I have to say that I'm very amazed that you're uh, as uh, fit as you seem. How many pounds did and you I'm, drop um, on the comeback, George? A lot of weight. I was over 315 Ooh. pounds when I decided to get back in the ring. Wow. The bridge. How much so have I'm you lost now? What are you weighing now? Uh, I got down as low as 230. Wow. Did you lose that off from training? Just training. Just and I got diet. hungry and I got it right back. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, my okay. real question is, um, considering the fact that you are 40 years old, how long do you think you can hang in with the boxing? Till he beats Tyson. Yeah, I'm going <laughs> to stick around now. It would be nice if I just go off the scene and let these fellows have a, a heyday, but I'm not. I'm going to hang around, and they're going to have to face me sooner or later. Uh, as soon as I get some uh, positive uh, press, people are going to wake up and understand that this George Foreman can whip anybody, anytime, whether I'm 40 or 50. I don't, I'm not Sounds going like to Ali to me. <laughs> George, is, okay, it, Harry? is it a matter of the... Uh, public being fickle or the uh, the media just giving you a bad rap? Well, 
you know, they got a habit of being nice to kids and then just being rough to grown men. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, but like I said, they can't take my punch away from me. If I'm given the opportunity, I can knock Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson, but I'm not yeah. truly interested in Mike Tyson. I'm interested in heavyweight title. Uh huh. Okay. okay. Great. All right, Buffalo Biff. Okay, next we have Fred from Fairport. Go ahead, Fred. Yeah, George, first off, I'd like to say it's a pleasure being in the same room with you and with Aaron Pryor. I think this mm. is great, and it's a big thrill for me. But, George, you've gone through two of the most, the finest experiences in boxing. You were a gold medal winner in the Olympics, which is phenomenal, and the world heavyweight champion. Which one do you think was better? Good question. Uh, 19 year older, winning that gold medal is the highlight of my whole athletic career and there's nothing to be, be able to touch it yet. I mean, how can you not break into tears when they play the national anthem for you? I did. You know? Yeah. Aaron, and, what was uh, the highlight of your career? Winning the title, what's what? the next thing to it? Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Let me get him a hand. Winning the title, man. Okay. Okay, we're gonna take a break on Sports Talk and we'll be right back. Roof Roof, everyone knows Greg the Roofer by now, but you don't know Greg works all winter long. Siding, windows, or roofs, Greg has financing for everyone. So call 585-727-0702 for a free estimate, but don't ask for Roofer. If you like comfort food, you must try McGee's Country Diner. Located off exit 41 on the New York State Thruway next to the Del Lago Casino. McGee serves breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Friday, it's the fish fry. Saturday, prime rib. Use your casino points from Del Lago for your meal. McGee's has a dish for everyone. You must try the pig wings. So for some real home cooking, come to McGee's Country Diner for some real comfort food. Here at Sleep Cheap, we have thousands of satisfied customers. Here's just a few. I found this queen mattress at Sleep Cheap for only $3.99. Everywhere else in town, they wanted $1,000. I shopped all over town for a king mattress and I found the best value at Sleep Cheap. I bought a great mattress for myself at Sleep Cheap, and while I was there, I bought a twin for my grandson for only $69. With two locations to serve you, it's cheap, 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 cheap. Roof, roof. Everyone knows Greg the roofer by now, but you don't know Greg works all winter long. Siding, windows, or roofs, Greg has financing for everyone. So call 585-727-0702 for a free estimate, but don't ask for roofer. Hey, we won! Hallelujah! We live to fight another week. Playoffs! Them. Hey, <laughs> it's not out of the question. Miami Dolphins, can it be done? Yeah. So, next week, Jay Cutler, keep it up. Play good next week. We're, we're, we got a shot. It's like the, the dream is alive. Offense, defense, and special teams. House money. House money, hey, folks. What can you ask for? Late in the season, we're still in it. Uh, we don't have a lot of time here, so I want to say roof for next week. He's back. He's homeless because he's lost everything. I'm loaning him 3,000 shingles, and he's going to take Indianapolis today. He's going to play the don't come like in crafts. Yeah. Sorry, Roofer's just made a, he's made some bad choices. So there we go. Next week. See you next week, folks. <laughs>